dead meme. Today, we're going to talk about summoning the bone mass, how to beat him, a couple strategies I think you should consider. So we're here in debug mode. I just want to show you basically the area that you could expect to find this boss in. As you can see, this is not very favorable terrain. There are plenty of nasty adds. Uh, bring a poison resist potion, many of them. So you're going to have two options. Either you're going to fight him here and you can prepare the terrain. Or like in this case, you could summon him and run to maybe this meadows biome or even this dark wood. And you'll reduce the number of really nasty adds. But again, uh, if you're in the dark wood and you're fighting the bone mass and you aggro a troll, I'm sure that's going to be a difficult battle. So I'm just going to show you what I would do if I had chosen to fight here. All those stones you picked up from dealing with like mining copper in the dark wood particularly. As long as you're in the radius of the crafting station and you have some stamina, you can drop down little raises in the terrain and then you can flatten it out to make it a little bit easier to run on as, as if you remember my elder by uh, boss battle i dug little trenches and things to uh, give myself more cover so this is the same general idea we're going to alter the terrain in order to make it a little bit more favorable less poisonous mobs in the mo water i'm going to be doing this a lot less, like a lot less swimming, because that will get you murdered if you're running slow. The other recommendation is the weapons you should bring. This guy is particularly weak against blunt weapons and frost. You're unlikely to have access to a frost weapon at this time. It's possible, but you're unlikely to have it. So let's quickly look at the food I would consider using as well. So the turnip stew, good for stamina, your sausages, good for health, and your black suit. These materials, or these items, are all crafted by materials found in the swamp. So you'll need turnips, which you can find here. You're going to need blood bags from the, the swamp creatures, the leeches, and you're going to need entrails from the draugr that are roaming about. So let's see how much health this gives me. I have 145 health with a little bit of loss here as it's not perfect. Something we need to consider, while we're in the swamp biome, you will likely be wet, which will reduce your healing and stamina recovery. So that is another reason why you may consider running to a biome that is slightly more friendly. In order to summon this boss, you will need at least 10 of these withered bones. You collect them from the various dungeons, like the crypts and whatnot that you find here. So I'm just going to pop them in when I turn ghost mode off. And I'll show you how easy it is to parry his attacks because this boss I do recommend fighting melee. I know that sounds kind of counterintuitive compared to the bosses we have already faced. And of course, you want a poison resist potion. He is highly resistant to pierce. Good luck killing him with uh, a basically with a bow. There you go. So, he'll throw things at you, he'll belch. It's a very large poison area. Very difficult to escape. Okay, just gonna have him showcase his attacks so you know what to expect. When he reaches into the armpit, it's a ranged attack. It will also add a few uh, hostile mods to the encounter. I do recommend a poison potion again, I cannot stress that enough. Is that AoE blob attack? Uh, basically, the poison on it is awful. Or you can get the poison resist armor. Alright, there's his melee. You can block that. And let's see if we can get him to throw. He'll reach into his armpit. More melee. There's the belch, big AoE. And basically, it's a big poison cloud without poison resist. You will like this will likely kill you. And get some distance between us. There we go. Pulls enemies out of the armpit. Adds. So, you've seen pretty much every attack. With a mace, you'll do significant damage. So we'll get in there and just give you a combo. Let you see what I mean. 
with a poison resistance potion, you could stand in there, no problem. So, as you can see, he's not that bad. You could easily beat him in melee. It's the way I recommend fighting. But let's clear him out. There we go. So, his drops, of course, his trophy, which will allow you to acquire his power, which is probably one of the best in the game. The wishbone, which will allow you to discover secrets. But, while we're talking about that, I would like to show you the mini boss and how you can as well easily parry him. He has only a handful of attacks. It's another way to get poison resistance. And there's the mini boss of the swamp. They kind of peel themselves over the floor. They look like a. Um, they just kind of look like other trees. But as you can see, um, he's kind of sluggish and slow. He's great for logging. But if you sit right on top of him here, he has a hard time hitting you. Now, I do recommend a sword if you're going to fight this guy. It's significantly more advanced, or advanced and damaged. So he does one big swing with the left hand. He does a ground pound with the middle body. And he'll do like a big swing on the right side, similar to that. And all of this can be parried with an iron shield and some half-decent food, so... He's not that bad. He looks intimidating. The, the major issue with dealing with this boss is actually like the environment coming to give you a rough time. So I have unskilled block. My stamina food is mostly gone. Same with my health food, and I can still parry these attacks. So I think you could take care of him. Worst comes to worst, drag him to the meadows biome. And just beat him up there and set him on fire. So his drops are Roots and Guck mostly. And he may drop his trophy. Guck is quite helpful for making the next bow. I do recommend it putting the resources in because you will need a bow for the next boss. The Roots armor can be used to make some poison resist gear. Showed it in a video that overviewed this biome that we're moving on. So just a quick review. Make your choice. Heavy armor or Root armor. This one you'll need less poison resistance, but this one makes you more vulnerable to the environment and the enemies that are in it. Bring a poison resist potion, I cannot stress this enough, you will die without it. Now, this is a melee enemy, get yourself a mace and a shield, preferably at least iron and at least a set of iron gear. And you'll be able to parry his attacks with eating two sets of stamina or two sets of health food with one set of stamina food make your decision on whether or not you're going to face him in the swamp itself and prepare an arena this is what i would recommend or you can bring him to meadows biome or the dark wood where you do not have the wet debuff it'll be easier for you to restore health and there will be less hazardous enemies around and of course uh, if that's helpful you know uh, let me know a comment down there would be great if i missed something that you think i should mention or that wasn't covered Go ahead and throw it in there but uh, of course keep in mind we're just talking about the battle with the bone mass so um thanks for showing up and see you all again real soon